I have a structured settlement and I need cash now. I have a structured settlement and you need cash now. Call J.G. Woodworth. 877 cash now. 877 cash now. I have a structured settlement but I need cash now. 877 cash now. I don't know if I'm impressed or... That don't impress me much. What's up guys? Thank you for joining us for another week of nerdy news and topics of discussion. We have a special guest this week coming back for us for round numero dos, Jim. What's up guys? Thanks for coming over. Glad yeah. to have you. It's good to be around. Yeah, so we're going to do some news. Alright, I'll start it off. Uh, first off I got, we're going to do some kind of bullet points. we got to do a kind of a lightning round for the news this week. Uh, first up that I have is the uh, Luther creator, Neil Cross, is going to write a uh, Escape from New York remake. Okay. Escape from New York. Um, yeah. I feel like they should just leave it alone. They're not gonna. Uh, but that's exciting. The only reason I brought it up was because the guy who created Luther and Luther's the awesome. That show is badass. It's really good. Yeah. I'm not familiar with the it. The BBC? Mm -hmm. Also, Idris Elba. Okay. No, Maurice the Detective. Oh, well, Idris Elba. Okay. I'm on board. It's a good yeah, stuff. Good. It, it's really, really good. It has a uh, very uh, subtle hint of Batman. Yeah, kind of. That's the psychopath chick. But more or less his oh, Joker. Joker. Yeah. yeah. Good show. Uh, looks like Rosario Dawson has been chosen to voice Batgirl in the upcoming Lego Batman. Lego Batman movie? movie. Yeah. Is that like a full like a full movie deal like they did Lego movie? I think Is that so. Is like in theaters and stuff? Um, I sure hope so. It doesn't say in the <laughs> They've done those, like, uh, they do the straight the DVD ones a lot. Wait, who was on the voice? Rosario oh. Dawson. Oh, okay. Dawson. okay. Yeah, she was, um, Wonder Woman. She was yeah. more work. She's a good actress. Yeah. She was the, uh, Night Nurse. Is she in, uh, season in two of Daredevil? Daredevil. Daredevil. Yeah. yeah. Is she in there? I think she's supposed to be. Cool. I think she's going to be in pretty much all of the Netflix TV stuff. Cool. I like your character. She's the Night Nurse. Yeah. Well, uh, up next, I got, uh, Playboy is not going to put nudies in their magazines. That's really weird. Starting I don't like it. next year, I believe. Because their very website very has been nudity free since, I believe, <clears throat> March. I didn't even know that. Who has weird. actually read it? I mean, do you guys, have you guys read any articles in Playboy? I have. I got a uh, couple. I think I might have like three issues. Am I the only one anymore. who hasn't? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm the same as Bert. I have a couple, um, you know, how they do, every issue has interviews with people. Yeah. Like, they do, like, a spotlight interview every issue on, on somebody. So I have some of them that I've read that for. Yeah. Then, like, a uh, Shel Silverstein actually got his start in Playboy? Huh. Well. Doing guys, cartoons? Would, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, so they have good articles, but wouldn't you guys like to see some boobies in Yeah, I, 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 no, I don't understand why. Whenever, I, that I, is, whenever so. I got Playboy, I did not get it to read those articles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just icing on the cake. <laughs> that's, that, that's just a crazy thing. Well, to yeah. imagine. Well, that, we live in a totally different age now. You got to think about it. You know that in the internet, well, can, there, all, a lot of the stuff that's in Playboy that guys, girls, I guess I don't know, whatever. The reason that you got Playboy was to see naked pictures of ladies. Right, but you're telling me that. But now you can go on the internet and get that for <clears> free. You don't have to pay five dollars for a magazine. But well, they took it off their website too. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, the they website's been nudity free. They just a long time what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. All the Early, archives stuff's not on there anymore. Year. I have no idea. Wow. I just know like the main web page is nudity free. Well, they're still gonna have ladies in provocative poses, is what I is what I read. But when else to use the word provocative? <laughs> when I talk about sandwiches. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Look okay. at that lettuce. That lettuce is that very provocative. That ham and cheese is provocative. Exactly. <laughs> cool. So, did you guys see the picture of? Um, the chick from Flash as Killer Frost. Oh no! no. Yep, there it is, right there. That's awesome. Oh, we'll, that's we'll okay. So I did here. see that picture. Yeah. I just didn't read it. Daniel Panabaker. Oh, Hanna that's Baker. amazing. Panabaker. Her. Are they doing that this season? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. I guess really? so. Yeah. It's, I mean, I imagine that's this is probably awesome. part of this season, maybe later down the line, because they're probably filming this. So right I did now. get a chance to watch the first episode of both of those. Um, but our internet's been really wonky this week, so I didn't get a chance yeah. to watch the, the second new, episode. The new season? Yeah, the new yeah. season of Flash. Yeah. I got to see the season premiere of both of them, uh, but I haven't watched the second episodes yet. 
Yeah, we got Time Warner, and it's been cutting off around 9.30 or 10 at night, and it comes back on around, like, 9.30 or 10 in the morning. Even if you plug in direct? I've reset it's the really router. Weird. It's like oh, we're supposed man. to be, like, Multiple gotta times. go to bed or I something. I that it. shit. I'd call somebody, write a letter, whatever I gotta do. Mm-hmm. Monday, because it's done it, like, it's, it did it started at least Thursday. three or four days. Yeah. So, Monday, yeah. Yeah, it started Thursday, because I was going to watch Flash. I mean, as much as you have to pay for fucking yep. internet, because Time Warner is the only one that's offering it around yep. here, yep. you know, you should at least be on all the fucking time. So the internet's trying to tell me when to go to bed. Where do I write my shit? Yeah, right. I mean, if yeah. I'm not getting yeah. internet half the day, I'm not paying for internet. This podcast is brought to you by Time Warner Cable. <laughs> <laughs> and their crappy customer service. Well, uh, yeah. I was going to bring up the Star Wars uh, oh, new yes, poster. Yes, yes. We Which, just saw it. You've seen it before. All the three of us just saw it, and yeah, buddy, it just blew our minds. Actually, we're there's still brains on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Much like Elderon. <laughs> because what blew up Elderon, and what's in the new poster? A Death Star. A Death Star. Yes. Star. What and if it's, it's a super troll, guys, and it's just a thermal detonator? <laughs> <laughs> like it's a super like big damage on a thermal Mac, detonator. A macro shot of a thermal detonator. <laughs> And we also get a shot of uh, Leia in the poster. Yes. I didn't see I didn't get a closer look at it. But. She's uh, right behind Han. Kind of in the back. Of course not she real, is. Not real, <laughs> not real big. <laughs> got the little sneak around. What do they call it? Reach around. That's it. Reach around. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Provocative. <laughs> provocative. That's a provocative. Provocative. Leia is provocative. Uh... Much easier, but yeah. Brian K. Bones' Why the Last Man is in development to be TV a TV show. show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, this yeah. is interesting. It's, it's been, been in the works for a while, but we're starting to get a little bit more news about it. And it's, I guess it's greenlit, or they're pretty much going ahead and trying to figure out the odds and ends and getting scripts written and all kind of good stuff. That's amazing. That's awesome. I've only read the first two trades of Why the Last Man, but to me it seems like it's very suited for television. I'm oh yes. my gosh, yes, yes. Dude. I, I, it really felt like, a, um, and I don't know if it was because I had been watching a lot of Lost at the time, but it really felt like a, I, like I could definitely see it as a Lost-style television. Yeah, I mean, it's a really serialized comic. Yeah, I mean, you've right. Got yeah. Bam, bam, bam. I mean, this arc, this arc, this arc, and it feels like that could translate really well to TV. And they're all crazy good ideas, mm-hmm. man. It's all super, super interesting. That and Preacher, man. I'm, a, I'm looking forward to that. What's on, that's going to be on AMC, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the yeah, one where the guy has the butt face, right? Yeah. Okay. Our face. Uh, all right. Next up, we've got. Um, you know how it was rumored Doomsday was going to be in Batman vs Superman? Yeah. 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 That ain't happening. Okay. So what are they fighting? Fine with me. Good. I didn't. Yeah, I guess it's with. probably just more of an origin, a uh, Justice League origin. But probably more than they're probably just fighting something, themselves. Something's and something's got to bring them together. They're not going to just punch each other for an hour and be like, you well, know what? Luther. We punched it out. We're good. Yeah, I mean, it could be it could be Lex Luthor. You know, it could be. Swear to God, if there's an crazy. island in the sky, real estate, real estate. <laughs> I'm out, son. <laughs> All right, we got uh, Paul Rubens, who played uh, the Penguin's yeah. father in Batman Returns, is also going to play the Penguin's father in Gotham. Whoa, you which, just and, my mind a little. And now I want to watch Gotham. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So I'm going to preface. I'm going to pre- before you watch it. I'm going to mm-hmm. tell you. It still sucks. It's still fucking. Oh no! I just want to see Paul Rubens. I've, I've the tried. Uh, I finished the first season. I, I I finished it. I watched it this week. I watched <laughs> one and a half episodes, and I had to turn the fucking shit off. <laughs> <laughs> it was that fucking ridiculous. It had me pissed off the rest of the day. <laughs> well, I, the good I'm, news is Jeff still hates Gotham. It is. This it's is still, our it, weekly Jeff rant on Gotham. It, it still sucks. It does. But. They put fucking Pee Wee Herman in here. I gotta at least watch that episode. I'll watch yeah. those episodes. Yeah. And I, I just gotta see what's up. I'm sure it's gonna be completely ridiculous because all of the villains are. I mean, it's borderline <laughs> Dolce <Schumacher. laughs> Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous, man. The motherfucker throws bodies <laughs> off of a building and it spells out something. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. And then the way that. Dude, just don't get me fucking started. God! Did I'll the. Uh, did, that, man. did the. Uh, uh, Bloodhound Snake pull the bodies into place to spell it out. <laughs> Man, it was it's just so retarded. And then the Jugger character they had, the, I guess he's supposed to be dead now or whatever, but it, it's, it's, the whole thing is just retarded. I gave up on Gotham last season, like maybe three or four episodes away from the end. Mm-hmm. And 
I figure I would just go by your declaration of this season, and I'm glad I <laughs> my blood pressure's down. It's, it's, it's terrible, man, and I, I really wanted to give it a shot, but it. It's, it's awful. No, see, I want you to. I need you to keep watching it. Too. Yeah, we. <laughs> yeah, seriously, this, I'm not gonna watch the thing now, but I need you to keep. Watching it, it. it raises my blood pressure, man. I don't know if it's good for my health. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Uh, my dad, you very passionate basketball, uh, college basketball watcher, and he used. I remember as a kid, like, good or bad, or he would always be like, ah, stop fucking to mess up. <laughs> so as a, uh, they had a. Um, Stress I found no, it was a, a, a foam brick. You know how they make foam hands? Oh, yeah. It was the foam brick, and it was like called the bullshit brick or whatever. So I gave it to him as like a birthday present, so he would just throw that at the TV. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> so it wouldn't break the TV, but it would get out that aggression. <laughs> Give me a foam brick. Yeah. I'll finish up Gotham for you guys. <laughs> the go- we'll call it the Gotham brick. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be perfect. Oh, man. Okay, so um, moving on here. Um, Marvel is uh, in development for Moon Knight. TV show? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So that. That sounds awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Is that going to be another like, Netflix thing? Uh, I, I think so. It did, the article was kind of unclear. It was just uh, it was moving forward with some TV ideas. So I imagine it's going to go straight to Netflix and, and be part of that whole thing. Isn't, isn't that character kind of in with it's all It's kind of those? a Batman-ish kind of... I mean, like... Like, like A or B team. I know he's not like stuff. a defender, but like, isn't he kind of like... Doesn't he sort of show up in those books more often than he would show up in yeah. like an Avengers book or something? So, yeah. you know? um, so, and I'd have, I don't really know anything about that character, so... It, it looks cool. Warren, Warren Ellis in right for him. He always kind of seemed kind of like a Batman-esque that. character. He, I, of the Marvel. I think you're right from what I remember. I don't know too much about him either, but... He's fun to play in that, that one video game. Isn't the uh, Warren Ellis uh, arc... <laughs> Yeah, that wrapped up. Yeah, I mean Warren Ellis Sometimes wrapped up. Was supposed to be really good. Warren Ellis is his stuff is really good. So. Speaking of uh, Marvel TV shows, apparently 20th Century Fox is working on developing two X Men shows. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. Hellfire yeah. Club and, and uh, uh, one based on what Legion? Is that what that? Le- uh, um, no. What was it? Yeah, uh, yeah, no. Uh, was it the, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I can't remember. It was. Uh, it was. Yeah, Legion, Hellfire Club, and Legion. That was one. Of, yeah. That's that it. should be pretty interesting. If it comes to. Did you guys hear all the rumors around that? No. About Fantastic Four, like oh, that, 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 oh, going it, back to Marvel. It, it, like like the rights are revi- or reverting back to Marvel. Yeah. That lasted for a day, and they're like, yeah, it, no, it's it not denied. Okay. Yeah, yeah, almost. Yeah, almost for. Like that was one of my things. So hours too. knocks that out. Yeah. It's like nothing. You guys can't there. get it together. Just make some money off of it and give it to somebody who can do something <laughs> with it. <laughs> yeah. Or keep like ten percent of the rights so that you still make something if the movie is decent. I don't mm-hmm. know. Work out one of those. Like the Sony Marvel deal or whatever their fucking deal is, was the the Spider-Man. Man, Spider-Man, yeah, you know? yeah like you guys exactly. suck at this stuff. Let us do something, and we'll you get some money out. Yeah, of it. you get a cut. Exactly. What else you got, Bert? I said yeah. that without having any seen any Spider-Man stuff yet. <laughs> you know, for, for the new Marvel. Show me stuff. Spider-Man. Back to the Spider-Man. Damn it. Crap. <laughs> yeah, uh, Godzilla versus King Kong. Uh, Alan's favorite topic of conversation. Got a release date for 2020. Oh, that's a ways away. Ah, but Skull Island's the lead up, and then there's another Godzilla movie, and then the the thing is, and that's why we're not going to get Pacific Rim two. Yep. Oh, because they're right. putting all those together. In the same so kind instead, of instead of Pacific Rim two getting made, they're going to just put that away and do King Kong and Godzilla movies because they've never done those movies before. So you know, let's make some more of this. And there's only been like one or two King Kong movies, right? Too many. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. There's been a shit ton of both of those movies. <laughs> that was kind of like the nail in the coffin for that, which sucked. When they pretty much announced their slate of oh, yeah. their monster yeah. movies, their Skull Island, which I'm excited about still because it could be good, and mm-hmm. I like the idea in general. And then they're, they're supposed to do Godzilla 2, and then the King Kong versus Godzilla, but that takes up all their time and money, so we're not probably ever going to see Pacific Rim 2, which sucks. Bummer. Sorry, Alan. We're Bummer. sorry. Well, while uh, while we're thinking about that, we can drink a Cannibal Corpse branded beer now. Oh, what? Yeah. Is it so, red? Uh, uh, it's an amber. It's called. Yes. This is the best. Amber smashed face. <laughs> oh my oh. god! That is the most perfect name for any beer that I've ever heard of. Yeah, that's awesome. He also has like a, a, a World of Warcraft character, uh, the, the singer. Are you guys familiar with Cannibal Corpse that much? I mean, yeah, the singer's name is Corpse Grinder. 
You know, his, his name, yeah. And the song, Hammer Smash Face. Hammer Smash Face. Hammer Smash Face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And That's pretty great. <laughs> yeah. And he, he plays World of Warcraft so much that the developers made a character. Yeah, I think he said something that he's, like, he's in the game. Yeah, yeah. Because he plays it so much. And he looks, I mean, if you see this guy, his neck is this big from doing fucking head, will, head windmills, you know what I mean? Yeah. The dude is, he could, he could bang, he could bang you into the ground with his head like a fucking hammer, dude. If you want to see them actually in action, uh, turn on Ace Ventura 2. Yep, that's Whenever right. he goes into the yeah. club, that's Cannibal Corpse playing in the background. That's right, yeah. And they're all doing the windmills <laughs> the entire time. I've seen them uh, multiple times, and that dude doesn't stop, dude. I mean, that's, he doesn't stop at all. I remember it, uh, your last show with the Buzz at uh, Apollani's, mm-hmm. I was head banging for maybe 30 minutes, 45 <laughs> minutes. For like two days, Sornet. my head was like, oh. <laughs> well, that's why uh, you're Yeah, this, okay. This dude does it for like an hour <laughs> every night when he's on tour. Because I was in you the whole time. No. What? What? Uh, did I do something else that I'm not aware of? No, I just didn't. I, well, I didn't, see you, I didn't see you head banging. Oh. I just remember like the next day, like ah, I'm like, oh, he's having this neck problems. No, no, it was from head banging. My neck was sore as hell. Okay. Well, and I wanted to mosh, but nobody would let me. I had to stop you. <laughs> like, why is this not <laughs> happening? Because. <laughs> Like I said, you would have Chris Farley through that table. Yeah, it would have. <laughs> and it would have been funny. No, not for me. It wouldn't have been funny. <laughs> now, now it would have been funny. Yeah. <laughs> See? That night Missed would not have been opportunities. Funny. Yeah, no. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I think really... Uh, do a quick one. Um, SNL, Tracy Morgan came back to SNL uh, for the last round after his big car crash thing. And the last thing I got is... Nintendo is apparently sending out uh, dev kits for their new The system. hybrid? Don't know yet. The rumored hybrid they don't handheld? Know yet. It's supposed to come out in 2016 and they're sending out SDKs to third parties. So it's it's a real thing. So hopefully some news about that will start kind of filtering down through the pipeline. That's cool. A um, few things here. Uh, looks like IDW is going to release a Back to the Future book. Oh my god, shut up. Yep. Yeah, uh, looks pretty cool. Um, everything's been getting canceled for that whole because uh, of that all that Marvel shakeup at the top, you know. A yep. Rumor to be canceled, like Inhumans. Looks like um, Iron Fist might be getting canceled. Whatever they had planned for him. Oh, that's um, stupid. So Inhumans and Iron Fist is kind of it's kind of it's kinda rumored to be up in the air. Yeah, I don't know if that's happening. Um, and but they're uh, putting, aren't they putting Danny Rand in? The I mean, Netflix he's stuff? he's probably going to be in the Netflix stuff, but I don't know if he's going to. I don't know what they had planned for him. Oh, they might have had a like show a, or okay. like a, or some kind of like Iron Fist, Luke Cage movie off of the show. Oh my god! Well, cool. like all the mystical stuff in Daredevil was that ties back to Iron Fist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Weird. And the last thing, and this is just because I'm a huge Firefly fan, and yes. I think it would be sick. The whole cast was at New York Comic Con, and they're said, on board. Said that they would be on board to do a second season. I don't know if that has any bearing on anything at all. Man, wouldn't that be fucking awesome? How are, how are they Netflix, do that? I don't even care, man. Somebody, I don't even care. They could just completely do a different timeline. I don't even give a fuck, dude. So just, <laughs> so just awesome, Nick's uh, Serenity, or fire, Serenity yeah. all together. I mean, I would, I would be cool with that. They might, or do a prequel, cool. or yeah. do it, do it, have it taking place take during place between them. Right. Yeah, it doesn't even right. have to take place through, between them. Have it take place during the actual original series, but just fill in the gaps and have more episodes. Did anything? Do it as a prequel. I would take anything, anything, any any more Firefly. Have you ever watched yeah, Firefly? I have not watched Firefly. Oh my gosh! It's only the one it's, season, right? Yeah, it's mm-hmm. awesome. Because I've I've watched it several times over now. It's it's awesome. It's amazing. It's it's a sci-fi western. The only reason I say it'd be weird is because in the in the movie that they did, they killed like half the cast off at the end. Go. Uh, yeah. So it'd be kind of weird. Yeah, it? I mean they they end it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> I mean they could just have the new stuff fill in some of the gaps from the TV show. Have it take place during the same time. Have it take place between the TV show and the movie. Whatever they would do, I mean, I, I feel stuff. like it would be awesome. Yeah, oh, yeah. And it would I'm, be great. I'm totally on board for that. Actually. Yeah. What if the guys from Gotham were writing the new Firefly, Jeff? How would you feel then? We uh. <laughs> Conflicted <laughs> spinning beach ball can't think. No, <laughs> I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't like it one bit. I'm just, no, sir, I'm just trolling like you, man. No, sir, I don't like it. <laughs> All right, I think that's going to wrap it us up for news, and uh, we will be right back in just a second. With uh, we're going to do 
You wanna do Ellen? Yeah, stuff? we did. Yeah. yeah. Some fear fest. Next up, Ellen's October Fear Fest. We'll be right back. <laughs>